um, a quick update on the painting part two. Um, I've been having a little problem with the silver that I've been using. Um, I've also learned that if you use the same silver paint that I used, um, do the silver last. Um, it takes a long, long time to dry, and even if it feels dry, when you mask over the silver, because I had the, the mouthpiece silver just like the teeth, when you mask over it, it's going to actually tear the crap out of the paint. And uh, I let the paint dry for three days before I even masked it. And the red that you see only took like 12 hours to a full day to cure before I masked it off and it was fine. Um, another tip, these black lines around the teeth, use um, a paint marker. Um, but other than that, it's still coming up pretty decent. It's just the mouthpiece is really all that's left for this before... I do the final detail work and clear coat it. Um, so yeah, my advice is do the black layer first, mask it off, then do the white, then the red, and do the silver last. Um, if you don't do the silver last, you're going to have a hard time doing the mouth. This is the second time I've done this. Um, this time I completely stripped all the paint off the mouthpiece by itself. Um, I'm going to coat it with white first, and then I'm going to shoot it with silver. Um, but when I took out the paint, you can see I took a little notch off here. So I have to touch that up a little bit. But other than that, it's, you know, coming along pretty nicely. It's just the silver paint that I use. It just takes twice as long to cure. And, uh, yeah, just make sure you do the silver last. Um, and maybe only shoot it maybe twice. Let it dry for a couple of days and shoot it again. Um, when you're doing this big piece or if you shoot it with paint and you pull the masking off after a couple hours Because you could do that after a couple hours Don't touch the mouthpiece. Don't do the detail lines until you are completely let it cure for about a week. So um, That's it for painting part two for right now